Hey everyone, welcome back to the Movie Vault. My name is Rob, it's good to see you back here on the channel. Thanks for checking out this, uh, the usual kind of end, end of month, uh, monthly haul pickups uh, collection update video. Um, I've done a lot of unboxings on the channel recently. I just got another box of stuff this morning, so I decided not to do a separate unboxing video on that. I'll just throw them in here at the end. So uh, I will warn you guys, I'll try and get through these as quick as I can, but a lot of these I have done in unboxing videos already on the channel. So I'll just kind of um, get through a bunch of these as quick as I can. So first ones here, uh, three arrows, um, buy two, get one free. Big Trouble in Little China was the first one up. Uh, fantastic movie, big fan of Kurt Russell. Um, if you haven't seen this, I highly recommend it. Um, the Arrow version has some cool uh, bonus features on there. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark is a really, really cool one as well. Um, I did see it before and watched it uh, as soon as I got it. Killer, clown, killer Clowns from Outer Space. Um, I heard a lot of good things about this and I hadn't got it, so I was really looking forward to seeing this one. It's pretty cool. The clown masks are fantastic um, in this, the, you know, practical... Uh, the clown masks and stuff, practical effects, um, back whenever this was in the 90s. Um, that's a cool one. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend checking that one out. Um, next three up, I uh, added to the Criterion Collection. I did do an unboxing video on these, so let me quickly go through. Um, Detour, directed by um, Edgar G. Ulmer. Uh, apologies, just had a check there. Um, this was a, a favourite movie of Christopher Nolan and um, fantastic stuff. It's a really interesting movie and it's really short as well. It's only 69 minutes, so I highly recommend this one. Um, kind of a film noir kind of um, a really, really cool movie. If you haven't seen it, I recommend uh, checking that one out. Um, For All Mankind, the kind of space one, Criterion Collection. I believe this is, there is there like a BFI version of this as well, but um, I got the Criterion one. I still haven't watched this yet, but... Um, Try to get around to um to watching all these. You know yourself, guys. We end up with like a list of stuff to watch. And um, the third criterion one was uh, shampoo. Um, again, I still have to watch this one. Massive Twin Peaks from Z to A, um limited edition box set. Um, so check out the uh, the unboxing of that. Um, it's it's pretty much Twin Peaks season one to the limited series event. Four walk with me's in there. Um, four walk with me all the deleted stuff. I haven't even gone near this yet. I kind of feel with Twin Peaks I have to be in the mood to kind of I would like to kind of go through from start to finish with this so um I'll kind of hold off on that until I'm ready to uh tackle all that in one go um next one up I got a big fan of John Cusack and um say anything I didn't have this in the collection this is a fantastic movie if you haven't seen it check it out from the 80s um directed by Cameron Crowe it's his first uh feature um film that he directed so um there's a fantastic cast in here. John Cusack's in there. Ioni Sky, uh, John Mahoney, John Cusack's in there as well. Um, really, really good. So really, really good. So check that one out if you haven't seen that. Next one uh, again. I done an unboxing and I tried to do a kind of funny skit at the start, unboxing the Star Wars, the Skywalker saga, the 4K. The 9 movie, 27 disc, all of that good stuff. So, once again, I'll let you guys check out that unboxing video if you want to check that out. Um, I am kind of... Where am I on that? I have watched episode 1, 2, 3, uh, New Hope and uh, Empire. And what I will say is... Some of the stuff in the prequel trilogy, episode 1, 2 and 3, the 4K looks fantastic. There's still some scenes that I don't think look great. Um, a New Hope I thought looked really well and Emperor looked really well um, in 4K so I have four more movies to go uh, bonus stuff I kind of quickly dabbled through I didn't go into it because there's just a crazy amount of stuff on in that set but um, it, I don't know I, I'm pretty sure it's a limited edition so um, there is a Blu-ray version of it uh, so if you're happy enough with Blu-ray um, I'm sure the Blu-ray looks good but my Star Wars collection is all DVD so I've gone from dvd to 4k i didn't have a uh, blu-ray in between um next ones i recently done an arrow unboxing so again these are all in there so let me quickly blast through these uh headers when on right are big fan of horse stuff so uh upgraded from dvd to the blu-ray on that one frank frank and hooker uh frank henenlotter movie really really funny uh 90s horror comedy if you're into that sort of stuff uh argento's phenomena jennifer condy's in this one um i've seen it years ago and just i hadn't got it all in the collection so i added that one in again they were the three arrow boy two get one free then 
as you guys know, sorry, I'm reaching over and grabbing stuff from the side here. Arrow had that like Easter sale, I think it was, or Arrow had a sale. So I bought a bunch of stuff. Again, these are all in the unboxing, so I'll quickly go through these. The Hellraiser 1, 2 and 3 box set Blu-ray. This is an upgrade from uh, DVD. The Long a Good Boy. Elliot Gould is in there. That's an Arrow Academy. Uh, Three Women, another Robert Altman movie. One Cut of the Dead, um, fantastic horror. I haven't watched it yet. We ran it in the, I said this in the unboxing video, we ran it in the horror festival in work um, and I saw bits of it testing it, so I'm really looking forward to checking that one out. Um, I just haven't had the chance to sit and watch these. Um, I said it in the video again, I finally caved and bought the Robocop box set because this was basically 50% off. There's like a booklet and poster and postcards and all sorts of cool stuff in there. Um, so again, I will check that out when I get a chance. Um, Terror in a Texas Town. I've kind of flipped the reversible sleeve art on some of these the ones I like um, again Court Russell Dark Blue this was kind of a blind boy I haven't watched it yet but big fan of Court um, somebody commented on my unboxing video that's this is good so I'm looking forward to checking that one out and uh, Nightfall uh, and Bancroft is in there so that was uh, another blind boy so that was kind of everything uh, that I've mentioned there were all done in unboxing videos um, and I get um, we will be going back to reviews soon here on the channel I've just been buying an awful lot of stuff I bought a shit ton of stuff that I didn't think I was going to buy this month at all. Um, so review stuff has been slow to come out just with the current situation. But um, they're starting to come back out again. So I have a review copy of Screamers 1995. So this is the 101 Films Black Label. So a review of that is going to be coming up soon on the channel. And Second Sight Films, another review copy. They are doing a Revenge in their kind of limited edition. The hard uh, case in the booklet and stuff. Um, these are all coming out in May so uh, I will be doing reviews of those coming up on the channel so stay tuned to those now I bought another load of stuff actually I done um, I recently done a video here on the channel with my friend Hannah we were talking about movies that we connect with and we talked about Lost in Translation so I'll stick a link up in the corner if you want to check that video out um, and just after we done the video I wanted to upgrade Lost in Translation from DVD to Blu-ray so I got this off Amazon pretty cheap um, and it just arrived this morning um, I bought a box of stuff there is a website, so I will warn you guys, I have bought off this website before. I bought like two or three things and they post them individually and it was fine. And I bought a about 10 movies here. Um, well HD is the name of the website. Unfortunately, there is like an Irish version of the website, but when you order, they ship from the States. Um, and I got hit for customs import charges this morning. So I bought 10 movies. I believe I bought uh, five Criterion and five John Carpenter. Um, and I was charged another 60 euro when they arrived. The, the post office like held these for um, like four or five days or something. And the tracking just, you know, it was just kind of stuck there. So um, that was a bummer considering like the price of these and what I paid originally for the 10 movies and the shipping to get to here. And then I got charged another 60 quid, but had to pay the money. Um, so or just be aware of that, guys. If you order off that website, well, HD, um, just be aware you might get hit with customs when the stuff arrives but um in saying that i wanted to add uh, these to the collection so uh, let me go through these so i haven't done an unboxing these so this is this is the brand new part uh, of the monthly haul so a bunch of john carpenters um elvis uh, starring court russell again just big fan of court russell i have i saw this years ago i taped it off of tv onto a dvd or and uh, never sort of realized it was out on blu-ray so um I wanted to add that into the collection. Um, Kurt Russell is supposed to be fantastic in this. Um, so looking forward to checking that one out. Sorry, I'm running out of space here on my table that the camera is sitting on. Scream Factory Collector's Edition in the Mouth of Madness. Uh, do you know what? I, I didn't have in the Mouth of Madness at all in the collection. So um, I have seen it, of course, a bunch of times um, years ago. Um, but um, looking forward that I can check it out again on physical media. Uh, Christian 4K. I had a pre-order on like a really cool looking french box set version of this a while ago and i just had to kind of uh, cancel it because of uh i just didn't have the money so um i just have the um this is the 35th anniversary just just the ordinary 4k um some special features i guess it's like a two disc yeah 4k blu-ray and digital um fantastic movie if you haven't seen that one um someone's watching me this is the scream factory version um 
uh, Adrian Barbeau is in this, of course, ex-wife of John Carpenter. Um, I haven't seen this at all. Never saw it. Someone's someone's watching me. So looking forward to uh, checking this one out uh, for the first time. Um, I believe he done this somewhere uh, right after Halloween or right before Halloween. I think it was right after Halloween in 78. And the final one is the Scream Factory Collector's Edition of Assault on Precinct 13. I have it on, on DVD, so I wanted to upgrade to the Blu-ray. Um, so I picked this one up. Uh, looks like there's a bunch of special features on there. So I'll be able to revisit that on uh, what should look a whole lot better on Blu-ray. So they were the five Carpenters. So I also picked up five Criterion. So I will mention... Um, once again that these are all region a blu-ray so they this is basically like a website that's operating they're selling region a or region one stuff but they i guess they kind of have uh, individual country websites if that makes sense and um, so there is an irish website you can go on to and order the stuff and it's all in euros but they are region a so uh, a bunch of criterions here and they again they're all region a so i do have a multi-region player so uh, just be aware of that in case you go ahead and order off these and um, first one up here is um big fan of Christopher Nolan so this is following this is actually his first uh, his feature film and um, which I've never seen 1999 70 minutes and it's black and white so really interested in checking this one out and of course Criterion there's going to be a bunch of a uh, bunch of cool bonus stuff on there and um, restore digital transfer all that good stuff uh, that we're used to Um, next one so I had ordered this took a good while to get to me this well HD order so I had ordered all this stuff before I ordered the Twin Peaks box set I only picked that up because I saw it on sale so I bought the Fire walk with me the criterion version um so i'm not too sure how the criterion version of fire walk with me differs from the fire walk with me that's in the twin peaks from z to a box set but um nice to have the criterion i like this uh, artwork and it has a slip on it like the night of the living dead um criterion release next one up again i know i say this like a bunch of times i'm a big fan of everyone a uh, big fan of marilyn monroe um so all about eve um, in her kind of breakout role Marilyn's in there Betty Davis is in there as well and Baxter um, I have seen this years ago off the TV and just never um, never bought it at all um, so really cool to add to the collection looking forward to checking that one out again um, once again Marilyn uh, John Euston filmed The Asphalt Jungle uh, never saw this one at all um, so I'll be able to check that one out at some point really cool and of course Criterion 2K restoration all that good stuff we're used to and the last one, I'm going to say it again. Um, big fan of Sharon Tate. I have a Sharon Tate tattoo. I'm just really going into Sharon Tate. And I have, um, I pretty much nearly have all of her movies now at this stage. I think I may be only missing like two or three at this stage. Um, and um, she was in the Beverly Hillbillies TV show. And I was, um, I literally have every episode she was in. I was able to tape them off. Um, one of those like retro channels. Um uh, uh, that on TV, I was able to tape them and, and I have them on DVD. Um, I'm not too sure if there's a box set of that Beverly Hillbillies. Somebody may be able to let me know in the comment below, but um, I'm missing only like two episodes of all the episodes she was in. And um, so, Valley of the Dolls uh, Criterion version didn't wasn't even really aware there was a Criterion version of this. I have the DVD, so um, yeah, looking forward to this one 2K digital restoration. I've seen it before and I have it in the collection. I have actually have it in a Valley of the Dolls, Beyond Valley of the Dolls, kind of twin um, DVD pack. But um, yeah, it looks uh, really cool. I'm delighted to have this one on Blu-ray and Criterion. So um, that was all the kind of new stuff. They just arrived this morning. I said it was kind of a bummer that I had to pay the import charge. But um, I guess lesson learned. I will mention, I did, like I said, I have ordered stuff off that WoW HD before. I bought the um, uh, Halloween 2 and 3 those universal uh, slip cover or universal covers of Halloween 2 and 3 um, before and they were posted and there was no import so I guess it's just because of the amount uh, and the value of those 10 um, that I got charged to customs so yeah I just thought I'd let you guys know just be aware of that in case you order off them and um, there is some uh, places over here are starting to open back up and sh or take online orders and ship online so um I do have some more stuff on the way. Um, I'm just waiting on it. So that'll all be in probably May's monthly update or I might do unboxings. I don't know if people are getting sick of unboxings on the channel because yeah, I've done a lot of them. But getting back into the reviews, I have to watch all this stuff and everything else that's been arriving um, in all those unboxings. So um, I have a lot of stuff to watch 
Um, I will stick links in the description down below uh, to where you can order um, whatever I can find out of what I've bought. I'll stick links in the description if you want to order or pick any of these up uh, yourself to add to your collection. Um, let me know in the comments if you've watched any of these, if you haven't, uh, what you guys have been picking up throughout April. Um, I hope everyone is staying safe and well. Um, it's getting very boring <laughs> staying inside now. But uh, I'm trying to kind of blast through some movies and uh, keep the videos going on the channel. So um, with that said, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't already, please consider hitting the bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Um, keep the conversation going in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I will talk to you on the next video.